Hello everyone. Today we will learn to run a Java application in a Docker container using Eclipse. So let's start. So the first step is we open our Eclipse and create a Java project. And we will name this project as Java Docker. So you can give any other name as well. And for this, we will be using Java AC8 or JDK8. Okay. So our project is created, and this is a perspective which we call uh, like Java perspective, which gives some additional tool for Java. Okay. Now I'll create a Java class file. Okay. And we'll put it in a package and I name the package as com.myapp okay and under this I will create the java file so this is our main class and we name it as hello world and we also include the public static void main okay now I will put a simple hello world statement so that when the command or it run, the application runs in the docker container you see actually the output that actually it is running okay so we will just write hello world is running it up so to be okay so now I will run it from the console to first to test that everything is running okay so yeah so this is running so now i create a docker file so this is the main file from where you give uh, the actual configuration to build a docker image so before that you need to install and docker tooling from eclipse marketplace so this uh, docker tooling gives you some uh, tools uh, which are required to run the java application in a docker okay so for my machine it is already installed in case you haven't installed just go to eclipse marketplace and install it okay and this is the name eclipse docker tooling just search by this name okay now okay so here is my docker file uh, so first I am pulling an image called OpenJDK. So on top of OpenJDK I will put all the commands or basically the comp compilation command and the run command. So yeah, so in the last as you can see the cmd java com dot my app dot hello world. Okay, so now I will start building the docker image. So you can give a name ok so hello world local so now I have executed the command for building the docker image so it is building the image as you can see in the command line ok and see at the last it is showing that uh, successfully built and successfully told hello world local latest so latest is just a tag you can see like image with versions you can give one or two okay by default is the latest okay so now i'll run like how i can run directly from eclipse this application in that the image or the docker container we have built okay so this we connect to the docker daemon running in the background okay and we select our image okay okay so one running this you see it has connected to the daemon and you see the output is here so this command has not executed in our jdk but instead in the docker container which we have shown or which we have built okay so now i will see the most important part that is uh, so we have done our part like running the java app from the eclipse now i will show from command line what actually is 
being there in the docker image and how exactly it runs like the basics okay so i see the contents of the docker file okay now let's run it from the command line so docker run build hello world local and just remember to give this last dot at the end of this command so this basically picks all the things from the current directory okay so let's run it so yeah now i'm again building the image so our image has been successfully built and this time i have given a defined name hello world uh, hyphen local and now i want to see the list of images which we have built so here is hello world local okay so now i'll run this uh, image so this is the command to run a docker container docker run it hello world so as you can see we have got our output hello world this is docker running from eclipse okay so now i show you the like whenever you want to debug whether your image has been successfully built or your source file has been copied to the image so for those stuffs you run this command docker run it hello world local sh so sh is basically like the last the command to be executed in the container okay so here as you can see in the docker file so i have put uh, the compiler file in that directory com.myr okay and i have now i will go to the directory com so i have my app so inside com.myr you will see that our hello world dot class file is generated so here is it our dot class file so like this way if you build some other images on any other application you can always go there and just see whether your contents are there this is for debugging purpose so thank you all